Nice. We're recording. It is the very end of November, and due to scheduling issues, I can't do the game I was going to do with my dad, which leaves me with Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is going to be going up for the rest of the year, forever. There's like 87 videos of that. Uh, so I wanted something quick to do, and I did say I was going to do all the Deus Ex games, so why not start with the worst one? I know nothing about this. Um, I've owned it for ages. I bought a Deus Ex pack. Are we ready to begin? We've established the candidate firm as a viable proxy. Public interest is strong. Market confidence is high. I've spoken with my people in the Ark. Our ghost will be ready to act as the moment comes. And the research? The trials are complete, yes? We're close, but we need more time. Explain. The tests have yielded excellent results during this phase, but the effects vary. With more time, we can ensure the mechanism will work exactly as required. And told us the latest batch was ready for release. All of our plans depend on your provision. Delays are unacceptable. To get the data we require, the testing regimen will need to be increased. We can see to that in Panama. You'll have what you want. Versa life. Are we at yeah. risk? Our new recruit is ready, but he is unstable. And the scientist? Under control. He'll do what he's told. What about the two that got away? Missing. Presumed dead. They interfered in Geneva. That cannot happen again. Anna if Kelso, they come out of hiding, Benjamin I'll Saxon. kill them myself. Okay. I've been warned about this Returning game. now to our main story. The global shortage of neuropazine is making life difficult for augmented people everywhere. Yeah, they're going to be rejecting their implants. Versalife, sole manufacturer of the anti-rejection drug, has suffered multiple setbacks in recent months, slowing the company's ability to meet demand. Anna, what's wrong? You're unsteady. I'm fine. As good as can be expected. Are you skipping your meds? I know you're not sleeping. Come on, talk to me. It doesn't matter. The clock is ticking, Ben. You know they're out there looking for us. And it's only a matter of time before he finds out where we're hiding. He won't find us here. We can't just sit here waiting. If we had enough information, Ooh. proof of what they're doing, Conspiracy. we could expose them. Conspiracies thrive in the darkness. But if we could shine a light on them, so bright it would make it impossible for them to operate. Two, against the Illuminati. You'll never expose the tyrants. They just cover their lies with more lies. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. The only way to stop them is to wipe them out. What happened to you, Ben? Before Geneva? What was it like to be a tyrant? What did you see? Tell me about him. I couldn't tell where the man ended and the machine began. His name is Jaron Namir, commander of the tyrants. So not the Illuminati? Unit. I was working for the Bell Tower PMC. Namir rescued me from a mission that went bad. Operation Rainbird, right in the heart of the Australian Civil War. I lost my entire team out there. We were shot down. Only two of us survived the crash, me and Sam. Corporal Sam Duarte. Okay. But Sam died before they came. I had nowhere else to go. Namir recruited me. My first mission with the tyrants was in Moscow. The target was a Russian minister. They said he was in bed with a cyber warfare hacker group. They said he was the one responsible for Operation Rainbird. Namir gave me a chance for revenge. I highly doubt it. They were probably responsible for Operation Rainbird because it's Deus Ex and they have conspiracies and, you know. It's... Activate the wet drive. <laughs> Call up the primary target. Remember that face, Ben. This is the man responsible for the deaths of your former team. You are determined to extreme prejudice. For Sam and the others. All call signs, check in. This is blue, ready to roll. Gray here, let's go. White, I'm already in position. Red, follow me. Go now. Okay. Heard the man, move your ass. Oh. 
Hotel Novo Rostov. Switch to encrypted frequency. From this moment on, use code names and sub vocal communication only. You can move in any ah. direction by using <laughs> Jesus. W, A, S, and D keys. You can hold the shift key to walk. Okay. You can move in any direction by using the W, A, S, and D keys. You can hold the shift key to walk. Resume. Can I crouch? I can't jump. Uh, let's turn let's turn it off. See if it does anything. Red, blue, secure the roof. Check for stragglers. Grey, with me. We gotta stealth our way through this, people. Stairs X. Apparently, this is Deus Ex now. Okay, shift to walk, yeah. Get into cover. I hear someone coming. Call their your mother's ass out here. Stop. Use the mouse to align the crosshair with your enemies. Use the left mouse button to fire your weapon when an enemy is inside your crosshair for an accurate shot. All right. You're like a little girl. And what does it even mean? It means what you think it means. The vault icon will appear when you are in cover against objects which are low enough for you to jump over. The vault icon will okay. also appear when you're not in cover but are near enough to a low wall to vault over it. All, all right, love. Um, do not like their shoot from cover in this. Uh, I had to vault. I had to vault. So, this is... A, I wouldn't say this is a modern Deus Ex. This is a more modern Deus Ex. How do I get my gun out? I can't. Assuming these guys are going to betray me, inevitably. You can perform a takedown by approaching an enemy and using the Q key. You have the choice of performing a noisy lethal hold Q or a silent non-lethal press Q takedown. Approach an enemy in front of you while crouched and eliminate them silently by using a non-lethal takedown. The rest of their squad will not be alerted. How do I crouch? No, hang on. How, how, how do I how do I crouch? Yeah, I've been pushing C this entire time and it's not doing anything. Oh! Again, I can't crouch again. Okay. All right. Where's Red? Oh, she's around. Great. Deny their communications. You can interact with objects in the world by placing your crosshair on them and pressing the E key. Everything that can be used has a pop-up which will tell you what the object is. Some objects are also destructible and some can be picked up or moved. Done. Target comms are dead. Ready. Get that hatch open. I'm looking for specific buttons um, that I don't.
Ha! I. Oh. Okay, it, it, do, it doesn't do it. Though. Oh, now I can crouch. Deus Ex, the choice is yours. Use stealth and non-lethal solutions or blast your way through the opposition. To equip a weapon, you must first select a quick slot to assign the weapon to. Okay. Any weapons you own that aren't already equipped with flash, try... Selecting the combat rifle to assign it to your first quick slot. Now you've assigned the combat rifle to a quick slot, return to the game and equip it. Once a weapon has been assigned to a quick slot, you can hold down the H key to roll out your available quick slots. Use the mouse scroll wheel to select a quick slot. Okay, so how do I get back into the inventory? And then... Hostiles will appear as triangles on your radar at the bottom of the screen. The color of the triangle indicates the enemy's level of alertness, while its orientation shows what direction the enemy is facing. Green <sighs> means unalert, orange means suspicious, and red means hostile. Well... Shit. Um, I'm colorblind. Go company. Go <laughs> tactical. Eliminate all threats. I've got to kill everyone, apparently. Oh, I've, I've put the pistol in my inventory, have I? Just gonna wait for that uh, energy to recharge there. Energy cells are consumed when you perform takedowns or use your augmentation abilities. Partially used energy cells will regenerate themselves automatically over time. To instantly refill an energy cell, you can consume Cyberboost energy bars. Right. I don't want to until the other one is recharged. Right. That's recharged. Now, how do I use my inventory? How do I... Right. I suppose we should save. How do I use my inventory? F. I've just eaten a candy bar. Did it save it though? Did it literally, did it save it? It doesn't look like it is. Oh no it is, look, game save, game save, game save. <laughs> you can utilize cover objects in the world to evade danger. Enter cover on the wall ahead of you by approaching it and pressing the right mouse button. Then transfer between cover objects on your left to avoid the turret. Yes, I have played a third-person shooter. 
in my day. Oh, I bet we'll have to hack that. I've been wanting to do the Deus Ex games for quite some time on this channel. If you move to the edge of a cover object, you can silently dive to an adjacent piece of cover by pressing the space bar. You can move around the cover by holding the space bar. Um, I don't think we're in cover. You can use the A and D keys to move left or right along a cover object. When you reach the cover's edge, you will have the option to silently dive to an adjacent cover object. Okay. That's a bit shit. Didn't really have the uh, the choice you would have thought there. You can open a locked door by hacking its security terminal. Locked doors often provide alternate routes to your goal. You can complete a hack by capturing nodes and disabling the system's security measures. This is a standard Deus Ex fare. I don't like the Deus Ex minigame. It reminds me of a game I played on the channel in 2014 called Hypnosis. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries to bypass the hacking system. Your starting point is this blue I.O. port. Traveling from node to node is accomplished by using unidirectional or bidirectional bridges. Select the directory node nearest your I.O. port to open a selection wheel. And then capture it. And that's how we go past the turret. Pocket Sectory. Ari Building Permits. Ozip. Zavid. I know we are way behind schedule on construction. The government has us wrapped up in red tape a mile long. Getting even a single permit is taking forever. Sometimes I wonder if there are people out there preventing this building from being finished. Ozip. Zavid wrote, Ozip, can someone tell me whose knob needs to get polished? to get anything done around here. According to my estimates, we are two months late on plumbing and the electrician permits have been rejected for no good goddamn reason. What is going on down there? Osip. Zavid. Okay, that's the pocket secretary we got. We have a map. We have our augmentations. We don't have any praxis points. Uh... Can I... Fuck, how do I get into the... It's this one, isn't it? No? This one? Yeah, save. I don't know how good that save is going to be. I don't know if it's checkpoint based or what. Can't see it. Oh, I can't jump at all. Okay, what have we got in here? There's an e-book. Uh, Thermoptics shielding. Thermoptics is a shorthand term for the process of converting the heat signatures of hot and cold objects into a viewable image. It was originally used defensively to spy on the enemy at night and launch attacks when visible light wasn't available. Very quickly though, defensive techniques evolved, such as heat shielding and thermal decoys. There's been a virtual revolution in the science and engineering of thermoptic technology in recent years, and the latest development is a sophisticated countermeasure called thermoptic shielding. The principle of thermoptic shielding is to envelop a target area in layers of electrically charged shielding. A computer program then generates a simulated thermal signal based on the user's design. The simulated heat signature is projected outward, while the true signature remains concealed. The result is that anyone spying on a thermoptically shielded target could just as easily confuse an empty room for a room full of agents and vice versa. I can't jump though.
We got some uh, beer. If you take damage, your body will automatically heal over time. You can replenish hit points instantly by consuming alcohol and painkillers. Consuming alcohol and painkillers with full health will boost your hit points above 100 to a maximum of 200 hit points. But again, you don't want to get hit. How to play Dirac. Typically played with a deck of 36 cards after removing 2 through 5 cards in all suits. Dirac is an aggressive card game played between 2 to 6 people. After the deck is shuffled, 6 cards are dealt to each player. The top card is then placed face up on the bottom of the deck perpendicular to the rest of the deck so that its denomination and suit are visible. The card is still in play and will be the last card to be drawn, but in the meantime it determines the trump suit. The first attacker is a player with the lowest trump. Since the deck only contains 36 cards, the number of players is limited to 6. Some variants exist that allow more than one deck to be used. Considering that a 6 person game with one deck gives advantage to the player who attacks first and a disadvantage to the player who defends first. Attackers move to their left where the defender must stand their ground or pass. Aces are high, trumps always beat non-trump cards regardless of rank, loser shuffles and deals. Okay. Do I want... Uh, we have a map. We do have a map. Well, it looks like we've been everywhere, so let's travel to the 13th floor. Always wanted to do the Deus Ex games. Didn't think I'd be doing this one. But it is what it is. It's easier to get this running than Deus Ex, believe it or not. Deus Ex is in a fucking state. A silencer. There are attachments and upgrades available for every weapon. To attach a silencer to your gun, pause the game and access the weapon's info screen in your inventory. Silenced weapons can be fired without alerting the enemy. But if a member of an enemy squad sees a squad mate be killed, he will become hostile. There are attachments and upgrades available. To upgrade a weapon, select the weapon's info button. All usable upgrades for a weapon are stored in its info menu. Equip the silencer to the combat rifle. Now the silencer is equipped, exit the menu and return to the gameplay. To be honest, I'd rather have uh, silenced the pistol. We oh, we have, we have suppressed the combat rifle. A group of enemies operates as a squad. If a member of the squad is alerted to your presence, he will call out for help from the rest of his team. <laughs> you can defeat a squad of enemies without raising an alarm by silently taking out each member one at a time. Have you seen me play stealth games? All right, we've got two guys, three guys. We've got three guys. And I've already forgotten the buttons for stealth. Q. He's on the other side of there. Is he going to come around here? No. The administrator has been locked up for days. Take out the guard! Is he going to be unaware? What I don't know is that after the shift you are buying out drinks. Yes, yes. I lost that. I know. It's all I hear from you all day. Come over here, mate. <laughs> Oh, he's alarmed. He's, 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 he's there. Stealth.
I wonder if this guy can see me. He doesn't seem to care that I just shot his mate in the face with a crossbow. Building permits to from OSIP to Zavid. I know, I know, we are way behind schedule on construction. The government is as wrapped up in red tape a mile long. Getting even a single permit is taking forever. Sometimes I wonder if there are people out there preventing this building from being finished. From Zavid to OSIP, can someone tell me whose knob needs to be polished to get anything done around here? According to my estimates, we are two months late on plumbing, and the electrician permits have been rejected for no good goddamn reason. What is going on down there, OSIP? Power supply. From Sadko Security to Kontarski. Mr. Kontarski, my sincerest apologies. I have told my men about this repeatedly, apparently to no effect. Let me assure you that moving forward, there'll be no more problems with the power supply. Uh, Kontarski to uh, Sadko. I've noticed that at night, the thermographic shield's power readings are dropping dangerously low. Please stop plugging in any unnecessary equipment, such as your portable TVs or boom boxes. You should be on the lookout for threats anyway. If the generator does fail, use passcode 6980 to access the generator room door and restart the generator. 6980. Oh, so I could have stealthed past them and uh, done nothing. Painkillers. Pocket secretary. Get out. Spet, I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, don't send me this garbage here at work. The guys here run a, a tight ship. Your personal messages are not helping. They might even be hurting. Do you understand? I'll discuss this when I get home. Svetlara M wrote, Honey, I know we want to see the job through. It's taking too long and now it's becoming dangerous. It's one thing... Staying in an unfinished building is entirely another when that building is occupied by the Bratva and who knows what else. Come home, we miss you and worry about you, Svet. That's great, but uh, what was the 6 9. Okay. <clears throat> Nuke virus. want me to go that way, so let's... Ah, there's a mine! You could disuse and re... disarm and reuse if you approach it slowly using the shift key. Picked up a concussion mine. Ah, yes. The concussion mine. Fucking hell! Rooms are up ahead. The target must be close. He could be shielded from thermographic scan. Okay, I think we should save it here. I tried to not kill anyone, but... I always try to not kill anyone. 
and it never goes well. Y'all seen me play Dishonored? So he's got thermoptic camo. Probably going to die horribly. There's his thermoptic shielding. It's a generator. It's a decoy. Thermoptics shielding. Thermoptics is a shorthand term for the process of converting the heat signatures of hot and cold objects into a viewable image. It was originally used defensively to spy on the enemy at night and launch attacks when visible light wasn't available. Very quickly though, defensive techniques evolved such as heat shielding and thermal decoys. There has been a re virtual revolution in the science and engineering of thermoptic technology in recent years. The latest development is a sophisticated countermeasure called thermoptic shielding. The principle of thermoptic shielding is to envelop a target area in layers of electronically charged shielding. A computer program then generates a simulated thermal signal based on the user's design. The simulated heat signature is projected outward while the true signature remains concealed. The result is that anyone spying on a thermoptically shielded target could just as easily confuse an empty room for a room full of agents and vice versa. From Juggernaut to Kontaski, you taking a big risk? You may think you know what you're doing, Mr. Kontaski, but nothing can protect you while you stay in Moscow. There are forces at work here that transcend government and military. They will find you and they will kill you. Get out while you still live. Okay, so I imagine I'm going to pull this shielding off. Yep. Operation no 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 no. Uh, let's look at the controls again. It's two guys. One there. Stealth. That wasn't too tough, he says. Maintenance floor. Think before you speak. The dialogue choices you make will affect other people and the outcome of the game. Well, it is Deus Ex, and anyone who's ever played Deus Ex, even if it is a weird phone port, will tell you Deus Ex tends to do its own thing. Now, we are running out of time. Access your inventory to purchase an EMP grenade. Purchasing an e EMP grenade by selecting the buy button in the item's information window. Are you sure you want to buy Pulsar Type E grenade for 200? Now that you've purchased an EMP grenade, return to the game and put it to use. Hold down the middle mouse button or the G key to roll out all your grenades and select the EMP. Oh, I see it. 